review finally we have voltage OS 1.8 EOL and which is here based I think and really thanks to Aditya for his great work and things really really improved in that build so you people can easily use in your daily life that room is really perfect so let's get it started from the settings and android version of course android 12 l and voltage os 1.8 eol official and maintainer aditya and of course again thanks to him for his great work and here is the security update and which is one month or two month old because uh, from caf based uh, this source are really a bit older so security update is just like that but this is cool no problem uh, siri next status is enforcing Then we have the system as usual. We have languages and input and gesture in, uh, inside gesture option. You guys can customize the navigation peel button and I don't want to waste your time by showing those things. And we have the latest uh, device settings where you will get really optimized audio quality. If you enable that MI sound enhancer and of course ambient display and color calibration if you want to do them and FPS overlay and clear speaker then we have the latest thermal profile settings which is really cool then we have digital well-being and other things then privacy account activity personal data and security of course we have everything face unlock fingerprint and app lock as well then accessibility and wallpaper and style so this is really cool thing and uh, in that room we have the system icon packs and forms are included in inside wallpaper and styles so and themed icons of course and customize system colors according to your choice here is the linear lightness and chroma and accurate shades which you need you guys can enable and then we have the grid options and system icon packs system icons are huge system icon packs are there if you need any just select and use then we have the system fonts uh, some system fonts are available here if you want to select from here of course you guys can do select no problem and let me show you the wallpapers the default wallpapers use wallpaper collections are there if you want to use any of course you guys can use then we have the okay let's have a look at the accessibility and which is uh, timing control system controls captions audio adjustment that's it and we have then the display section as usual we have every single customizations and color boosted adaptive and natural whatever you need you guys can select auto rotate screen and prevent accidental wake up check the proximity sensor and do waking up screen you guys can enable that feature which is helpful to prevent accidental wake up and we have the full screen apps and ambient display and sound of course then battery of course and battery backup is still I found which is good no problem with that no complaint and then we have the power hub that that means the customization hub as usual in status bar we have everything like traffic indicators and you guys can customize the clock and clock and date and 4G VOLG icons and other things everything is here uh, so many icon packs are included as a VOLT icon style as well the icon use collection is there so you can use according to your choice and then we have the location privacy indicator and just uh, not was not using that one and battery start battery icon battery percentage and battery um, percentage uh, can be selected on hidden inside the icon next to the icon and then we have the battery style uh, some collections are there you can select according to your choice then we have the quick settings toggles and brightness slider positions and as usual quick uh, queues pull down disabled and you guys can enable that one from left or right and system info can be enabled cpu temperature or gpu frequency what you need you guys can enable and if you want to see that then you will get the info and then other things here is the new thing which is data users display data users summary in quick settings that means in quick settings you guys will get the data summary if you want to use that feature which is really helpful then we have the patterns you guys know already about that and then we have the lock the screen double tap to sleep and if you want to enable weather settings service settings condition icon packs of course you guys can use the weather feature and we have for a small ls clock ls small means lock screen clock if you want a small clock size in lock screen then of course enable that feature 
and we have hide status bar if you want to hide the status bar then you guys can enable that feature and if you want to uh, just uh, make dark in a status bar also you can do that by uh, going to your home settings then we have hide qs secure in lock screen which is important settings if you enable that feature in lock screen you won't be able to use your control center and then we have the power menu notification and miscellaneous which is important for us and fingerprint vibration and hidden applications of course you guys can hide any applications and unlimited google photo storage as always we have in voltage os and unlock high fps in games of course you guys will get 58 to 60 fps gaming gameplay all time if you want to play games then and a screenshot type can be selected and take full screenshot and of course you guys can take partial screenshot as well and we have background task freezer and strict standby policy if you need that background task freezer i don't recommend to use that features but uh, we have it and that's it and that's all to show and here you guys can see i'm using custom icon packs now let's have a look there and go to settings and here is the icon settings and go to icon pack and i'm using here hydrogen actually hydrogen uh, pack icon pack here we have that means the water icon pack is you guys can see here is h2o icon pack and default icon pack you guys can select and if you want to use any icon pack just click on the plus button and select and download any icon pack from google play store and then select according to your choice and that's it and we have other customizations like icon size form size and max lines for app and other things like home screen we have double tap to sleep and wallpaper scrolling and dark status bar which i told earlier dark status bar if you don't want to see the status bar so then enable that dark status bar you won't be able to see your status bar so show hot seat background hot seat background now let me show you and here is the hot seat background you guys can see a border in the last um, apps are in hot seat and then we have the other things like recent applications greedy style and background opacity can be selected and which is 80 50 70 whatever you need you guys can select and miscellaneous and other things an app drawer i i am just i did here value zero which is background opacity zero that means like MIUI if you want to do that so background opacity is zero that's why in app drawer so that's why background wallpaper is clearly visible so that's the feature cool things and of course i'm using here the vanilla build and in vanilla build i'm using nick caps basic so if you want to use basic then you will get the widgets and which is cloak widgets you will get the cloak widgets if you use the nick cap basic if you don't use basic if you use the core gaps then you won't be able to use that cloaks and if you can sacrifice that cloaks then of course go with uh, core g apps because that is very lightweight and you will get better performance and let me show you the cpu throttling and this is the first time so that's why it's 83 percent still which is really really great if you keep using for some days that rom and you will get more more smooth performance and more results better where is the geekbench score let me show you that and also geekbench score will be improved if you keep using the rom for some days and we have the 251 single core a bit lower and multi core a bit lower but that doesn't really make sense there's nothing and we have two uh, what, uh, camera is here simple one will be google camera go and another will be the normal camera which i already showed so both really perfect in that case and let me show you the safety net issue is there any problem i think there is no problem in safety net is passed by default so that's all here and now let me show you the screenshot system if you want to use uh, just go to here and screenshot partial so let me uh, capture so you guys can take the partial screenshot like this if you want to take of course and you can change from the control center directly 
partial screenshot or full screenshot that's the cool features and everything is just awesome and working fine here no issues with that if you want to use your in your daily life of course you guys can do that so really thanks for watching